Hi, I'm Vivian O'Para. I'm an actor and a musician, and my breakthrough project was a feature film called Rylane. So go on, spill the tea. What happened? She cheated on me with my best friend. Wait, is that? A... So I play Yaz. Yaz is a bit of a whirlwind. She kind of spins past your life, envelops you in her chaos, and you either feel the warm embrace of it, and if not, she'll spit you back out. It was a big first for a lot of people on the job, so everyone poured so much heart into it, and to see that materialize into something so joyful and so colorful just feels really gratifying. I remember Bianca, the makeup designer, she was just like, this is a really special film. And she's like, and I don't say that about, you know me, like, I don't lie. And I was like, okay, but like, I didn't quite believe it. Then I watched it and I was like, damn, I kind of like it. <laughs> but still, again, I was like, oh, maybe it's just like a personal accomplishment. So it wasn't really until we were at Sundance, ending of the screening, and everyone was like cheering and clapping and like, I've never been so overwhelmed in my life. And I was like, okay, I think people like it. Being in this like wintry landscape with this film that we made in Peckham, like the contrast between those two environments is crazy. And just knowing that something can take you that far, far from like anything that you know or recognize into like a really new, beautiful wonderland. It felt like a dream. Um, and I love films, so being at Sundance, I was like, oh my God. My biggest lesson on my lane was self-belief. Rain works in such like a collaborative way where she has cherry-picked and curated everyone to come and do their best and she puts such a faith in you. You just kind of have to rise to the fact that like, okay, like I've been chosen to be here, I deserve to be here and there's work that I can do which will be valuable to like the tapestry that we're all creating. I guess because I didn't go to drama school formally, I just was a bit naive. My ethos is, my sister always says, I'm just a bit like, why can't I do that thing? And then I just do it. So I'm just a bit like, oh, if I want to do that thing, I'm going to try it. And I'm just going to keep trying it until the door slams in my face. To be selected as After Breakthrough feels insane. I woke up and I saw the email and I was like, wow, new territory. Like, I was like, wow, like new level unlocked, awesome. When I think of BAFTA, I think of incredible, incredible British talent. Like cultural vanguards, people like Michaela Cole, I think of like, like Daniel Kaluuya, like, you know? Just to be under like a similar umbrella feels insane. I guess in the, in the industry we work in, you have such a delayed reaction to like your own achievements because you can't immediately share them. But yeah, I've tried to hold this one and it still feels so exciting. Wish I could say something more interesting. It just feels really good, <laughs> like, it feels good. 